Hello everybody, welcome back. As you can see, today we have a beautiful lady side of us. We are in nature and behind we have the entire arena that you can see horses. So you might get a clue of what is up today. So today we are at DS Start Farm right here and it's a beautiful venue which caters to all the horse riding, the trainings and everything. And besides me is a very beautiful Veronica who's standing here. She's a trainer by profession, starting right up from the age of 10. Moving on, you know, she has done many courses in horse riding, specially disciplined herself into various aspects, be it in the welfare of the horses, you know, about them, understanding them, training people to ride them in the right way. And she does not believe in the traditional one, but she is a natural horsemanship owner right here. So ladies and gentlemen, we have Veronica right here, who has done numerous courses. So Veronica, it's great to have you by your Thank side. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so Mayra. much for giving us your time. I'm really excited because this is our very own first, you know, outdoor like this and we are getting into something very different from our comfort zone. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Mayra, and thank you for the introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so, Veronica, let's get straight to the point, okay? I know that you have completed numerous courses and disciplines of, you know, horses, learning about them, understanding them. But tell us more because I know there is this one famous rider that's been included, okay? We have Monty Roberts and under him many disciples under him who you have trained with. So tell us something about that. Okay, so first of all, I would like to tell you how I actually started. Mm -hmm. um, so I was brought up in a traditional horse riding stable. I started as most of us um, under very good trainers, but traditional trainers. Um, so I started at the age of 10, I started with show jumping, with competitions, different kind of disciplines. Later on I had my own horses, mm -hmm. um, but that quite didn't work so well. My horses uh, were very good horses, but they didn't like the traditional approach. Um, I started noticing that the traditional way of training the horses does not work for everyone. Each horse is di different and my family supported me really a lot and I received my first book of Monty Roberts. Monty Roberts is a famous worldwide known trainer uh, from California and that's how my love for natural horsemanship started. Um, Monty Roberts uh, specializes in natural horsemanship training. He worked with wild mustangs um, and he really understands the body language of the horses. So that's how I started. I started with a lot of different trainers from the natural horsemanship and after traveled around the world and studied a bit more. Wow, so it's not basically just about, you know, understanding the horses into them, but being in their mind place. Like, you know, you always hear this term, put yourself in other people's shoes, but this time we're going to wear the horseshoe. So I know something very exciting is coming up in a little while, but let me ask you this one question, okay? We have got to know that you are a trainer, you go ahead and because of your love towards nature and horses, you know, and understanding everything about it, what is Ashwa Shastra that you have got us for us? Because we know it is something related to the horses, but tell us something more about the company that you started because of your love for horse rides. Okay, so um, Ashwa Shastra is a creation born out of my love for horses. Um, so I specialize in this natural horsemanship training. Mm -hmm. So the mental well-being of the horses, of the animals, as well as their physical needs and their physical health. This is hugely underestimated in, um, not only in India, but all over the world. So people either focus on the mental health or on the physical health of the horse. So I combined these two. Um, I studied physiotherapy and the natural horsemanship, plus the behavior of the horses, the psychology, and so I created um, this blend oh. and it works wonder for the animals. Okay, I'm very inquisitive. Why the term Ashwa Shastra? Okay. So Ashwa means, I guess, horse? Okay, so Ashwa means a horse okay. and Shastra means uh, the book of knowledge or a sacred wow. book. So I was thinking this is like a nice combination to put these two words together. Actually, Ashwa Shastra um, already exists as a book mm -hmm. uh, from the ancient times. Wow, so it's it's like very deep and in-depth, you know, you're going back to the traditions, right, there of Indian culture, also more of it, but let me tell you, you have been 
telling us continuously about the traditional and you know the natural horsemanship thing tell us something more about it like let us help us understand more about on that acute part of it okay um, so I will start what is traditional horse training mm -hmm. uh, the traditional horse training is the way how we train the horses all over the world um, it does not mean that this training is cruel but um, it does not take in consideration the way how the horses live and the way how they communicate within each other. So we use fear and pain as a motivation tool. That's mm. in the traditional training. Um, the natural horsemanship only uses positive reinforcement. Um, so we make the animal to feel safe um, and the animal willingly cooperates with us. You can never have like a long-term sustainable training if you use the traditional way of training. There will be, after some years or months, it depends which horse it is, uh, there will be some issue either with the behavior or uh, with the health of the horse. Yeah, so this is the difference. Uh, that's why I chose natural horsemanship because it is long-term sustainable and it has great results. And I think it also creates more of the trust between you and your par fellow partner horse. Yes, That's definitely. Right. If we have like a willingly cooperative animal, um, so of course all the sessions are much more enjoyable, not only for the rider, but also for the horse. If the horse, you know, enjoys spending time with the human, you can really boost the performance of the horse and you can achieve what you cannot achieve with traditional horse training. True, uh, true. Because it's very important to get yourself into it. And as I said earlier, you need to put yourself into the horseshoe sometimes. <laughs> yes, definitely. So, okay. So, Veronica, now that you've told us so much about it, we do have this other thing. We do have, you know, when we meet a friend first, it's a very approach that we have, a friendly one. But today, we're going to be talking a little depth about holistic approach. Tell us something more about that from your side. Okay, so I created this holistic approach towards horses mm -hmm. uh, where I take care of the mental well-being of the horse, so I make sure that for each training the horse is ready mentally and if the horse is in fear or pain I do not continue with the training as normally the traditional training would. Um, this is one way, so we take care of the, of the mental health of the horse as well as of the physical one. So when I train a horse I always look on the anatomical perspective of the animal. Um, in which shape the horse is, you know, if it's a male or female, and how do they walk, how do they carry themselves, um, how muscular the horse is, you know, what is the age, you know, how fast they are moving, how they are turning, like we take in consideration every aspect of the animal. So this is the holistic approach. Um, it is not only about training, it is also about the nutrition, so we look on the nutrition of the horse, um, the shoeing, the dentistry, everything what comes with the well-being of the horses. So this is the holistic approach. Um, if the horse is um, well in all these aspects, he can, of course, you know, perform really well. True, yeah. true. True, and it's very important also because as we also, we fall sick, we always go to the doctor. So you're the doctor for today. All right, brilliant, Veronica. We have got to know so many things right now. Okay, but let's go something in deep, okay? Because horse training is not easy. And I know you have got so many, th you know, achievements under your belt. So tell us more of your experience as a horse trainer. Okay, so I will take it again from the beginning. <laughs> as I mentioned in the beginning, so I started with this traditional horse training. Mm -hmm. um, I had my trainers that were very good, so I started with show jumping which means jumping over the obstacles. Mm -hmm. uh, that was very good. Uh, I achieved some really nice things with my horses. Um, then I continued with some competitions of dressage and Western riding. I tried basically everything, even horse racing, um, which was wonderful and it gave me a lot of experience. Because now when I train horses and somebody tells me they want to do show jumping, um, I tell them, yes, of course, that's possible, but we use the natural horsemanship um, approach. Yeah? Um, after that, when I realized that this kind of training is not really for me, I went and I searched for some amazing trainers in my country, um, of Czech Republic, and I visited some very good trainers. This was a wonderful experience. I took my horses along and I spent time with each of the trainer at their place training um, for even months. Later on, when I finished my graduation, 
I studied the university. Um, I went to Italy and I was training for about four years under Michael Maider and Raffaella Rooney, which are the trainers or students of Monty Roberts. Um, this was a wonderful experience as uh, we trained with um, you know, really young horses, traumatized horses. We rescued um, horses, not only horses, but other animals. And we were cooperating with different kinds of sanctuaries. We even assisted the veterinary doctors and you know, really helped all over Northern Italy. Later on, I felt that this is kind of not enough. So I moved to UK, where I again worked for a rescue sanctuary that is the one of the biggest ones in UK. And we took care of 300 horses daily. This facility also ran as a, not only a rescue center, but also as a clinic. So a lot of surgeries were happening there. So obviously you gain a lot of experience by just spending time at this facility. I studied uh, with Kelly Marks, which is um, closely cooperating and who actually helped Monty Roberts um, to write his books and to evolve this training. So I studied with her um, amazing, wonderful lady, I must say. And um, later on, I studied my physiotherapy for the horses. And that's basically it. Wow. Life, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's really immense because we are not just talking to a random person. We really have a professional right here. So, you know, Veronica, your entire experience and journey is really inspiring. But now, for all those people who have had their bucket list, you know, waiting to go horse riding, if you do require a trainer, we have right your side of me. So, Veronica, how do people get in touch with you? So, you can get in touch with me through my Instagram page, Ashva Shastra, mm -hmm. where I post daily about the horse training, about the welfare of horses and also some fun stuff. So please visit my Instagram page and I think that's the best way how you can get in touch. You cannot say no to that smile. <laughs> All right, that's it folks. This is the very last end that we have. But Veronica, one thing that we always do with our guests, some final words coming in from you to the viewers out here. Okay, so what I would like to tell to everyone is that if they are working with a horse, and there is something that does not resonate with them or something that they don't agree with. It doesn't have to be um, abuse, but you know, just the way of training. Don't close your eyes in front of that. There are a lot of ways how you can train your horse. It can be joyful experience, it can be positive experience, and the horse and you should enjoy your time together. It's true, it's true. Whatever you do, you have to enjoy and make sure that you are safe and also they are safe because we believe in having a healthy horses and healthy ears, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> all right, so Veronica, thank you so thank much you so for much. your time. Guys, thank you so much for watching in to all the viewers. Let me first go ahead and say a big thank you, especially to this entire arena that you can see the beautiful location right here, DS Start Farm right here. Thank you so much to the owners for giving us this beautiful place, along with the beautiful horses that you can see behind me. Not forgetting the one and only person who's right there behind the lens, doing all the hard work of making sure that we get the best footage in town. We have Elvis the studio. Elvis the right there. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And along with that, Veronica, once again, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Mayra. It's really exciting. We are going to do something exciting after the lenses are down. We are going to go ahead and enjoy this time. But till then, guys, this is your host, MC Maya DeCosta, along with Veronica, saying a bye to all of you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks.